Coach Bess here. We're talking today about loving yourself more and breaking up with sugar. This month, all month long, we're going to talk about how to love yourself more and what you've got to break up with to do that. And so our first week is sugar. This is a tough one. We all love our sugar, right? I, I do. I know I do. And I have found that as I feed my sugar habit, it becomes more of a habit until it's actually at a point of addiction. And I used to think I was crazy that how could I be addicted to sugar until I began doing the research and seeing that I'm not crazy and you're not crazy. Um, sugar really can become an addiction. And it happens just over time and it happens um, out of nowhere. <laughs> and we often don't realize that uh, we are becoming addicted as we are consuming sugary items. So let's talk about that. What is sugar? When we talk about sugar, we're not just talking about candy bars, um, soda pop, the obvious things. We all know that those are loaded with sugar. It's obvious. We don't eat those things for nutrition. We know that. But let's talk about the things that aren't so obvious. Um, I know a lot of uh, people that I've worked with have been just surprised to find that many foods that are marketed to families and children, drinks and foods and all kinds of um, food products, are loaded with sugar. They are deceptively and openly um, sugar is added to them. And they have 20 grams and 30 grams per serving. So our children are um, eating and drinking so much sugar and don't even realize it. We are eating and drinking so much sugar and don't realize it. So let's talk about how to get a handle on that for you. How do you know uh, where to find it and how to know? And then how can you then take the steps to dump it and break up with that much sugar in your life? So let's talk about how simple that is. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is in the store, as you are about to purchase a food item, flip it around, look at the label, and don't look at calories, and don't pay attention to nutrients and all of that. That's not important for this study. What's important is for you to get familiar with the amount of sugar that's in your home and in y'all's diets. So flip it around, look at the sugar grams, and start counting them, and start doing mental addition. If there's 11 grams of sugar in a cup of milk, and there's 16 grams of sugar in a bowl of cereal, then my child is having 27 grams of sugar for breakfast, or I am. If there is nine grams of sugar in a granola bar and 15 grams of sugar in their juice, then for snack, they've had 24 grams of sugar. So let's talk about what that looks like in a visual. Sugar weighs in at 4.2 grams per teaspoon. So when a label tells you that there's 20 grams of sugar in an item, there's really almost five teaspoons of sugar in that item. In that serving, usually this is per serving. So pay attention to serving size and grams and start doing the math. Now let's explain what that math means. Back in the day when my grandparents were young and they were eating mostly whole foods, just like your grandparents and you know maybe even your parents, um, they were eating an average of 9 to 20 grams of sugar a day, which was quite normal and did not cause the, the same amount of disease and obesity that we are seeing today in our culture. Now, the average American, you're averaging between 50 to 80 to 120 grams of sugar a day, usually most of that by accident or being unaware. And it's in our drinks, mainly, and then secondly, it's in our foods. So that just kind of gives you a difference of, of a visual here. 9 to 20 grams a day, 80 to 120 grams a day is the new normal. So that kind of starts to make some math sense for what we face today in our culture as far as sickness, chronic sickness that's brought on by inflammation in the body, toxins in our bodies, things like that, highly inflamed from the amount of sugar in our foods and drinks. That's part of what's going on for us. So I just want to challenge you to, um, we have an entire section on our YouTube channel about sugar where I've kind of delved deeper into where to find it, how to count it, how to move away from it, 
what's real sugar, what's natural sugars, what, to, what are artificial sweeteners, whether agave nectar is good or not. I've got so much information for you on those videos. So go to our YouTube channel, check out those videos. We'll give you the link here. Um, and kind of do some research on your own and find out what I'm talking about here. It's time for us to break up with sugar to help reduce illness, especially chronic illness, anything that's inflammation based, and the obesity happening in our families and our loved ones, the people around us, and even in our own lives. This is just a tremendous um, thing to be looking at breaking up with um, this month as we do this in our community together and we do it um, with our readers and those that follow us on social media. So I look forward to doing this with you. Let's break up with sugar. Let's begin to cut it out. Just like everything else we do here at Fresh Start, we're going to do it one step at a time, one item at a time, one choice at a time. We're not talking about a complete overhaul overnight. Um, we're just talking about looking deeper into how much sugar um, we have going on in our lives and how we can can break up with it to build a more loving relationship with ourselves. So I look forward to bringing you more information on this. Um, be checking the community. If you are not in our community yet, I encourage you and invite you to come join us in the Fresh Start online community. This is a free community. Um, it's a beautiful place, very supportive people. And every week you get an action plan in this community that gives you the practical steps of what we're talking about in these videos and in our posts. So we actually give you the tools you need now that you've got the inspiration behind it um, within our community, as well as our monthly workshop. So come join us for those things and find out more about how to break up with sugar in your life. I'm looking forward to helping you with this. This has changed lives and I know it will change yours as you begin to remove sugar from your life one step at a time. Sure do love you, love serving you and talking to you this way. I will see you in the community.